We got the permit. Here's our full story of why we have to rebuild. At the end of 2019, Vinny and I had bought a fixer upper right on the Intracoastal. It was our dream to live right on the water, so we knew we had to put some work into it. We started doing little projects here and there, but in 2021, Vinny received orders and was activated in the Army. So I spent the entire year DIYing every room in the house to completely surprise him when he returned on Valentine's Day in 2022. But that was short-lived because six months later, Hurricane Ian hit. Our house completely flooded and everything that I had just did was ruined. And a few weeks later, Hurricane Nicole hit, causing even more destruction. In our cute little house that I had literally poured so many hours, blood, sweat, and tears in to surprise him while he was gone, was completely destroyed. We tried to save anything and everything we could out of it, but due to the amount of erosion and foundation issues from all of the waves just hitting up against our house, we decided the best thing would be to actually just tear it down. And because of the location and directly on the Intracoastal, we have the most amazing view. We knew that we wanted to rebuild right on it. We just needed to make sure to build up higher. So I got my grade book out and I started drawing the plans for our new house. And six months ago, they came and demoed the entire house. This part was definitely an emotional roller coaster and I think it's when it hit me the most. But within a few hours, the entire house was just a pile of debris. And while the lot has just been sitting here and weeds have been growing, today we finally got our permit. So here's a little peek at what our new house is going to look like. This Thursday we are having the entire ground graded and we're going to be raising the ground about four feet. Our next door neighbor did not flood and that's about the height of his. And then our entire first floor is mostly going to be a garage area minus just a little room. So that way if it does flood again, the majority of the house will be up nice and high and we won't have to worry about any water damage. And we are having our builder finish it just up until drywall. That way, Vinny and I can finish it off and do the rest. So get ready for tons of content as I share with you every step of the way of our disaster to dream home.